D-S-L-R Film. Noob. All right, what I've got here today is the Fort DSLR adapter for the Zoom H4n. This is basically a metal plate that acts as a quick release plate for your Zoom H4n. It'll set you back between $30 and $60 depending on the options you choose. So let's take a closer look at the 4D SLR adapter, see if it's right for you. The 4D SLR adapter is pretty easy to attach to your Zoom H4n. It's got five rubberized fingers on it that form fit the Zoom H4n and you just press them together like so. Once you have it attached, it's pretty solid it gives a very good grip for the Zoom H4n. When you need to remove it, you simply peel your Zoom H4n out of the rubberized grips. The 4D SLR adapter is very form-fitting for the Zoom H4n. It allows you room for both the XLR inputs on the front as well as the eighth inch stereo input on the back. It doesn't affect the ability to put a windscreen on this and it allows access to all of the controls without any interference, making it fairly nice if you need to access anything. Also, since the Zoom H4n isn't attached physically to your camera rig, instead it's used on this quick release plate, you can easily take your Zoom H4n off and get to the battery compartment to change out batteries. At $34, the basic kit just includes the cradle for your Zoom H4n. But if you buy one of the advanced kits for $49 or $69, they also include this little stud mount right here. The stud mount screws into the side of your Manfrotto tripod and gives you a 15 millimeter rail to adapt items to. For example, if I wanted to attach this arm right here, I could do this. And now I have a little arm attached to the side of my tripod. Now that is okay, but it adds about 15 to $16 to the cost. For that same price, you can buy an arm with one of these little adjustable clamps and you can attach it directly to your tripod leg. So I don't think you really need this unless you find that type of mounting system extremely convenient. The mount on the back of the unit is a quarter 20 hole with a 15 millimeter stud. This allows you to adapt this to any 15 millimeter rail equipment that you have. The other thing you might find useful is that this adapter gives you an easy way to attach and detach your Zoom H4n from a boom pole. I don't know how many people use the Zoom H4n as a boom pole mic, but if that is what you use it for, this could be a really nice feature to get to the battery compartment without having to unthread your Zoom H4n every time. Every time you try to unthread it from the top of a boom pole, you risk the chance of possibly dropping it on the floor and breaking your Zoom H4n. Overall, there's really not a lot to say about the 4 DSLR Zoom Cradle Adapter. It basically just is an easy way to dismount your Zoom H4n from a rig and mount it again. And it gives you easy access to the battery compartment. It's a piece of metal with five tabs that hold the Zoom H4n in place and a 15 millimeter rail stud with a quarter 20 hole for adapting to pretty much anything. It's $34, it provides some protection for your Zoom H4n and it is convenient if you're willing to spend $34 for it. The extra adapter here for your tripod is not my favorite adapter, but I could see where this could be handy, especially on say a rig if you have a quarter 20 hole and you needed a 15 millimeter stud in that position, then this could be a good buy. This adds about $15 cost to the total of the 4 DSLR adapter. So you'll probably have to think about this a little bit before you spend the extra money on this. You can swing over to 4DSLR.com if you'd like to pick one of these up. Also have information on it over at DSLRFilmNoob.com. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe. Oh.